Hi, this is Tracy Tokohama Espinosa, and this is a video about word styles using the APA 7th edition. Just wanted to share with you that um, in the word template that we sent you folks, um, we see that there can be some changes in the formatting um, once it's been uploaded to Google Drive and we've corrected it and then it's downloaded again. Some of the formatting may be lost. So what you should normally see is within your paper, when you download your template originally, you'll see that if you click on it here and you're in the home button on the side here, and by the way, this is the same for Apple as PC, it's the same buttons. It might look a little bit different here on your formatting, but it's more or less the same idea, right? Once you've, uh, if you click just on top of the title or anywhere in the title, this should tell you this is APA level one, which we created for the template. And if you put your cursor over the text, it says that this is APA body text, right? And on the side here, when we get to this one, this is level two, it should say APA level two, and it should say body text, level two, body text, level two, body text. This would be level three, for example, right? So your long indented quote, if you click here, you can see that this is APA long indented quote, right? Same thing for styles created for the tables, for your table name. All of those have styles created for them. Same thing with the APA references, right? All of these were created so that you wouldn't have to deal with these problems of formatting. However, this might be a good time to learn. Um, if any of these have changed, um, we want to teach you how to use word styles to get back to the APA 7th edition. Right now, this also has the page numbers incorporated in them. The margins of the pages are automatically done, so that, that shouldn't change, but sometimes the headers do change. If by accident your level one header has changed, you see this one now is Arial 16, it should really just be Times New Roman 12, then you need to go into Format, Style, Modify, and then here, let's put this back. We wanted it to be Times New Roman, that's what it is, okay, 12 point, that's what it should be, okay, and we want to update this, and we say okay, and apply, and then everything goes back the way it should be, okay? In other cases, what we see is that the formatting itself has just been lost. There's no form, there's no style um, related to this, and it says uh, all of them seem to be saying now APA table uh, source, which is kind of crazy, but anyways, what you need to do then is to go back in and create a style, not modify, it's because you don't want to mess up the table source style, so let's just leave that one alone but we'll put it over what we want to be the uh, level one. We will say format, style, new. And you'll see that this one has been, uh, you'll, when you click in here, you'll see that this just says normal. So we're gonna say new, we're gonna say that we want this to be called APA level one, and we want it to be something that's centered and bold Times New Roman 12 is good, and we want it to be added to the template. And we're gonna go into format here to make sure that the spacing above it is two spaces above, and then a space and a half below so that it uh, sets it off apart. That would be an APA level one header. So it's got two spaces above, one and a half below. It's bold, Times New Roman, it's centered. Okay, we've called it this. Okay, we're gonna say okay, and we apply it, and this will change so that we can now go back and make sure that all of them have changed back, okay? So that's how you create the style if it was necessary. You can also shortcut that step if you wanted to, if you go to the styles pane, uh, and then you'll see all the styles that you have in that particular Word document. And at this point, you could also uh, create a new style if you wanted to. Please, if any of you have started to hand indent or try to do the things for the references, you'll see that they might all look kind of goofy and messed up now. You need to go back in there and you need to choose when you, you'll see that the formatting, we go to format, style, and if you can look at it, you can look at modify, you can see what it looks like. It is Times New Roman 12, flush left, double spaced, and if you go to format, what you'll see is there's this special thing that's called hanging. So it's this hanging intent that you want to create the references, right? 
you want to space after it, it's double spaced here, and then we just say OK. So if you've ever had any problems with your references, put them all in that structure. The main reason we use this is because you can automatically alphabetize this list. For example, let's say that we started putting in our references and we didn't really have a good alphabetical order with them. The really interesting thing about once you've created the style is that all you have to do is put the cursor over all of these, I put table, I say sort, and then I go from ascending and automatically it'll change it back into alphabetical order, right? So once you've got a style, you can do that. The same thing, styles are also beneficial because they allow you to automatically create your table of contents. So let's say this was all gone and then um, you're like, ah, you don't panic, you have to go cut and paste. No, all you have to do is insert, index, and then you choose table of contents and go to options, okay? And in options, you say that you want level one and level two because APA only requires those two levels in your table of contents. You say, okay, you say, okay, and you wanna replace the one we just had, it's there, okay? Now, even if it comes up in the wrong typeface, all you gotta do is put your cursor over it, change it, we just wanna go back to our Times New Roman 12 point, and we don't want it to be bold, so we take off the bold there. And we don't want all these things of italics, and we just take that off, and then there you go. You've got it, okay? And we don't need to say the table of contents is in the table of contents. We can get rid of that. So you start here with the abstract background, literature review, and all the rest of that, okay? The great thing about having the headers and the table of contents created in this way is that you can just put your cursor, you know, lightly next to any number here. And if you click right... Uh, you can see where it says update field. If you click update field, it'll ask you, do you want to just do the page numbers? So this happens if you add more text or whatever and things move around. You can update that. Or if you've added additional headers, you can say update entire table and you just say OK and then it'll update everything. Obviously, it's going back to the same old funky thing of changing the typeface, but that's not a problem to change. You can just go in, you put it back to Times New Roman, you put it back to 12 point, you get off the bold and you get off the italics and then everything will look just right, okay? So hopefully that's clear and that's why we use the headers. I hope it's not gonna to be too much of a hassle and that you can learn to easily manage word styles in the APA 7th edition with those headers. Thanks a lot.